Hey guys, welcome back. Hybrid32494 with you here once again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Appy Portable Bluetooth Speaker. I picked this one up on Amazon. It was on a lightning deal. Normally these retail for $30. I paid around $22 for it. So, you know, it was pretty much a bargain. I figured why not pick it up, give it a try. The speaker has a lot of features to offer. So let's take a look at the box before we take a listen to it. Unbox it and also check how loud it gets with this really cool decibel gauge right here. So the box claims that it is waterproof and actually I have seen videos where these do float in the pool in case you were curious. So it's a great speaker to have if you live by a pool or it's something you use. Um, it claims to have a 10 hour battery life and to have a 2200 milliamp hour capacity, which is pretty normal. I would say that is actually more than one of my favorite speakers here, the SoundBot SB525. Uh, you've seen a couple of videos on this, actually on my channel. And my least favorite speaker, this is a replica of the JBL Charge 2. So you can tell I did some work on it and none of it has improved the sound quality at all. So it's pretty much terrible. This is like my benchmark to compare my worst speakers against. And this is my benchmark to compare uh, the best speakers against, you know, of course for under $50 that is. Okay. So now let's unbox it, see what we get inside. Got a little card, seems to be well packed. Okay, there it is, there's the speaker. Let's see what else we have inside here, if anything at all. Have a couple of accessories here. Right, so here we go. This is where we get owner's manual. Regular USB Type-C charge connector and your auxiliary connector. Okay, let's take a look at the speaker itself. See what it has to offer. Alright, it has a pretty good hand feel. It is rubberized on top. Uh, it claims to have a total of 10 watts. It has two individual drivers here in the front. I don't know if you guys can see it right here, but it does have two individual drivers and it has a base radiator in the back, which is nice design. Actually, the base radiator is the reason I picked this up. It's rare to have a speaker under the, you know, under the $30 range uh, that has one of these. So it really does a great job to amplify the bass. What else is cool, you have this really cool D-style uh, clip you can clip this onto your book bag, onto your bike, whatever you want. You can have a nice little adventure with this. Um, it is actually fairly lightweight, I gotta say. So, you know, that's neither good or bad. Lightweight means it has a small battery. And we already know it's only 2200 milliamp hours. Uh, that's the reason there. So you can use this as a speakerphone. Um, you know, also th that is a benefit. I never would do that personally, but you can if you want. So all the connections here, I'll show you guys right here. It's pretty much encased in this uh, soft rubber material to prevent water from getting in. And all we have here is the regular three and a half millimeter auxiliary input and your charging jack. That's all we have. So these are basically the only ports that could be exposed to water, but once again, they're sealed pretty well. The rest of these buttons are lined with rubber on top and your mic is right over here. Okay, so let me connect this to my Bluetooth device and we'll see how loud it gets and what it sounds like. Okay guys, I have my decibel meter out here. Just keep in mind, anything above 100 according to the mark. And now this TacLife decibel meter says it is damaging to your hearing. Okay, so I'm gonna play my own music here on YouTube. Let's see what it sounds like. I'll try to get to max volume. This is about half the volume.
Okay guys, so I'm looking at a decibel meter here. It recorded a maximum of 103 decibels. So that is actually fairly loud. Um, these speakers, especially the small ones, rarely get over 100 decibels. So actually that's kind of impressive. And I wasn't playing the most, uh, you know, bass pumping loud music. So I could honestly say it could probably get close to maybe 107 or so, but that's pretty good. Um, if you guys heard as I was playing it, I tried to kind of move it around, you couldn't really see, but I'll tell you uh, the experience of the speaker. It does have an okay amount of bass. I mean, honestly, I didn't notice a lot of air coming from the bass radiator in the back. Uh, normally, if there is a lot of movement, you could really kind of feel it and see there'll be a lot of air generated. Most of the air kind of flow was coming from the front drivers. The drivers seem to be sealed really well. You know, something I can't say for this fake JBL Charge 2 replica. So here, and the speaker is basically very little air movement, at least in this one, it is not bad. So would I recommend it for, you know, around the $20 mark range for the feature set that you get here? Um, yes, I would. Um, great speaker, especially for the size factor. I gotta say it is very loud. I listened to some other music um, before while making this video and unfortunately I couldn't play it because you know uh, it was pretty much copyrighted by someone else but it gets really nice and loud and the way it syncs to your Bluetooth device is actually very good um, let's see what it sounds like when you turn it off it's kind of interesting I mean I kind of heard the tone it was kind of funny listen to this guys you heard that it was like a nice little tone like a nice little song uh, kind of nice touch really so there it is guys if you have any questions please let me know i do my best to try to answer anyone that comments on my page till next time thanks